What's going on, you guys? It's your boy MM, and we are here to do a live reaction on chapter 300, I mean 831 piece. So it's the first page we have already. I have no idea what's happening. So 500 million men. So it's like basically he's betting, he pointing at five, but he's laughing at the bounty picture, and you can see the straw hats here. So he's obviously there chilling. Uh, let's go to the second page. That's the official opening page, and then we go to okay, page three. Straw Hat Luffy is a man. Wait, wait, what? Who will eventually change the world? This man took their promise to heart. Okay, so this is few hours earlier, like before he went and met Big Mom. He may still be a bit wet behind the ears, but I sincerely believe that the one who will rule the seas. I am weak. Will not so it's remember you know when Sabo actually died I mean Ace when he died so right now is that that moments a flashback so in anime you know how long this shit gonna be but see, just Jim Bay getting a flashback there so will not be any of the four Yonko Straw Hat Luffy himself I would like to aid this man in his endeavor. I wish to board his ship and sacrifice this life of mine for him to need me. My man Jimmy, welcome abroad. I assume that these actions will in the end result in a fight for the true freedom of the fishman race as well. It certainly will. So we are on page 4. So we have Aladdin here. Over these past two years, you uttered the name of Luffy's countless, countless time. If you passion and trust in this man is honest and yes, I do not see any reason why you should not turn your word into action. Oh, have I really been talking about him that often? <laughs> go on, go and follow your aspirant, Jimbe. Are you guys really okay with it? So this is like the fish. Oh, okay, so he is actually being separated from these guys. So he's like, Captain, why would any of us complain? You, a former officer in Neptune Army, trade that in for the life of a pirate simply for the opportunity to fight alongside ex Mario slave like us. Furthermore, you only accept the promotion of Chiki in order to elevate the status of. Yeah, that's true. He accepted because, you know, he fishman needed really the support. So right now we are on page 5 and we know your reason for joining Big Mom as one of her subordinate crew was not only to protect all of us but to protect our kingdom using her name. Captain, you always made a decision in your life based on how it benefits those around you. You no longer need to carry that burden, Jimbei. Here, here, <laughs> please think about yourself for just once. From this point forward, it's okay to follow your own desire and be a bit selfish. Yep, look at Jim Biz, he's ready to cry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not lying, he's ready to cry. We're on page 5, page 6. Go on, Jim Biz. Yeah, Captain, we can manage perfectly fine ourselves, so don't worry about us. I have no words for how grateful I am. So, there we go, he's crying. Yeah, he's definitely right. In any case, even if we all support his decision, I doubt Big Mom will let him off the hook. That is, yeah, that's true. Worst case scenario, if her rage get destroyed, we all got to do is for run for our life. Uh, this guy just laughing it off like it's not nothing. I mean, her power is deadly, bro. But won't this put Aladdin in an awkward situation? Uh, now he's gonna be the captain, isn't he? I mean, since he's tied the knots with the Miss and now a member of a Big Mom's intimate family and all. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? I mean, since he tied the knot with the Miss... Okay, did he just get married to one of the Big Mom's daughter? Oh, uh, okay, my, my. Shouldn't you boys be a bit more worried about? Sha, sha, sha. Whoa, miss. Why are you eavesdropping this time? Okay. 
29th daughter, 29th daughter of the Charlal family, Charlal Pralin, Hammerhead Shark Half Mermaid. The only hammerhead I see is her hair. So, what are you plot trying to hide something from me? I thought our relationships were better than that. Okay. She's a freaking monster. Aladdin, don't tell me that you are planning on deserting me. If all this doesn't sit well with Mama. No, of course not. I'm sure I will be able to negotiate with her. Okay. Let's go to page 8. Negotiates. There's absolutely no need. You know that I would choose you over Mama any day of a... <laughs> Shame me with you. <laughs> yeah, such a rational. <laughs> okay. Forgive me, Wadats me. I dragged you all the way out here and now. Nah, it's okay. I'm having a lot of fun. Why? <laughs> In any case, Paralene, do you truly believe what we would incur Mama's wrath if I left? Nah, well now, let's see. You wouldn't be the first person who would try to leave. Having said that, not a single soul who was brave enough to utter such a words has lived to see another day. Sha 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 sha. So this is the 29th daughter. Woolcake Island, present time, capital, sweet time. Okay, so now we back to normal time. Sir Mos Moscato Sir Moscato has died. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because of Mama taking their, uh, you know, 40 years of life. Please don't leave us, Sir Moscato. Move aside. Hurry up and move us, move the body. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so they're just cleaning it up. Do not leave behind even a single record. Do you hear me? Hey, sir. Mondo will boss Jimbe or will be also be killed. Hell if I know. The only thing I can say for certain is that when Mama flies into rage, no one is safe. Not even her own son. Yeah, we just witnessed that shit. So, let's go to page 10. There's a lot of writing this time, isn't it? Sweet City. Wool Cake. Chatu. Chitu? is that a type of cheese, I believe? So, you want to cut the ties with me, Jinbei? Why, boss? Please don't leave, boss. Why, are you, why must you go? Squeeze, okay, silence. She just ate. Okay, that's the cheese. Do not ask those who wish to leave their relationships how un. I don't give a damn about his reasons. He's a pirate living freely, is not Ooh, Mama surprisingly taking like serious, okay. However, having the bond between one's child revoked is shameful to the parent. Jimbe, you are. Departure would cause a huge void and cost me a valuable, powerful resource. Well, sure. Don't you show me? <laughs> it's only fair that you you lose something valuable as well. That's the only way we could call this a fair trial. Would you agree? Mama, mama, mama. That's her laugh. Mama, mama, mama. Bring the roller. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's like arm, leg, head. And mama, what the hell is a mama? Bring the roulette. Uh, ah, now then, what exactly will it be? You lose. Mama is mad. She can go nuts at the same time. She's she can look less intimidating like normal person. So let's go to page twelve. Night time in the seas with in Big Mom's territories, Woolcake Island. So okay. Luffy and them lot now, right? So they are from Coco, so they passed across Biscuit and they are between Nuts and Biscuit right now. So, it's so sweet. Can't we just... Wait, who's that? Oh, that's Joker. Can't we just stop here and go to sleep for a while? Are you nuts? <laughs> Carefree as ever, my man, Luffy. So, this will start to fall, flow once the warmth of the sun returning during the day what is this oh the wax wait is this like a waxy or something but at night these seas are getting quite cold and these end up freezing wait what is this chocolate or wax what's happening what is this oh sweet syrup oh look at those arms they all got stuck together ah i see everyone 
our fam uh, like primary focus will be melt this stuff so we can hightail it out of the sea misumi told you that why can't they use kudo past and fly over oh is that ship stuck as well just so we are clear i only put temporarily put temporarily put that swarm of the ant to sleep it would be chaos if they woke up okay all right I once had my ship eaten up. Wow, yike. So, obviously, Petro was here before, apparently, you know, for whatever the hell the reason is. So, uh, but what were you doing in a place like this? Okay, there we go. Luffy asked the obvious question. Petro used to be a pirate, just like Pokemon. Oh, okay. What? For real? I honestly didn't know any better at that time. I thought I was simply an explorer, but they ended up putting a bounty on my head. I only accompanied Pekoman men. Okay, alright. So, Pekoman, they both used to be in the same group. I am only sharing this with you because of the trust that has been built. Okay, so Petro started trusting people because that's new. If you think about it, this guy doesn't trust people. He take the knife out for every single shit. So, but we were on a journey to discover porn oh porn clips. We just wanted to be an access to our master Nikomushi in any way that could be okay. So they were here for porn cliff. The day finally stepped foot into Big Smart territory would be the last day of our journey. The truth is, I've fallen here once before. Ooh, okay. So everyone looks shocked. Look at Luffy, huh? And that is something I haven't shared with many. So okay, I had no idea. Character, yeah, character now. Okay. So Brooke is just, you know, always Brooke have this weird thought going on. I don't know what's, what is he hiding? So this place must bring back those awful memories. If my experience here ended up aiding us in our plan to rescue Sanji, I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, I doubt that my tag along, tagging alone will turn out to be a waste of any other time. Okay, I was told our Duke and Master show showed you all our road on a cliff. Yeah. When I first heard of this, I could not believe my ears. Thought you are, you all are our saviors. The last time we showed that time one member of the okay i think that's gonna be roger precisely 26 ago it feel like ages since we showed the horror moldy roger and his crew the pirate king afterward roger made it to raftel and became known as the pirate king i believe that duke and crushy man master nekomushi are seeing similar between their crew and yours they must be confident that you lot will be become people who will end will end up needing the road on a cliff. Okay. What will you do after you defeat Kaido? Well, that's so far into the future. Wait, who's saying that? Is that Luffy saying that? After that you will surely need to make use of the road on a cliff make my poses. And if this is the case, you will not have a better opportunity than this seeing as how we've been able to sneak this okay so they're trying to basically sneak and take the corner places that petro trying to suggest it would be wise for you to steal her road corner cliff in addition to rescuing your crewmate sanji well robin did ask us to do the pretty much what you just said so when we arrive at the island would you mind buying me a, a bit of time i promise that i will successfully steal wait what I want to see Blue Fever's Big Mom. What are you on about? I mean, we will eventually get there anyway. So, what if it's for our sake? Then we will go with you. No, please, focus your attention on Sanji. Things will get far more complicated once you manage to take him back. Oh, yeah. Alright, then I will leave, the, leave it to you. She, 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 she. Wait, that sounded way too easy. Uh... Okay, then that's the plan. Okay, so everyone just agreed. I suppose Luffy was simply born with this kind of fate. 
Yes, that is something to do with family B. I mean, yo ho! Hmm. You say something, Brooke. Oh, nothing. I am not much different, I guess. Brooke, sometimes I guess I just don't get you. Oh, yo ho! Hey, Brooke knows something for sure. Brooke knows some shit. I mean, this kind of he probably didn't even know what the hell is this D family. I mean, how how old is he right now? Okay, the aunts are awake. Woke awake. So let's move on to page seventeen. Okay, I think we are on a walk garden. Okay, so the next morning. Okay, hey, wake up, guys. We are here. Wait, they just arrived there. Okay. What happened to the aunts? I thought that's gonna be a, some aunt moments. Okay, it's wool cake island. It's an actual cake. Imagine if Luffy just ate them all. Oh shit! This is the last page. It's an actual cake. It's enormous. So this is the island where a uh, Jongo lives. The tallest cake you can see in the distance is the castle where Big Mom currently resides. Castle. Nami, should I continue going straight? Yes, I heard that that's the cape over there is the look only location where security doesn't make their rounds. Ooh, there is someone stand at the coast. Oh, yo, 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 where, 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 where? There's someone standing. Is that Sanji and Pudding? Or is that Big Mom? Or is that Jimbe without one arm, one leg, or without head? Wait, where is standing who? I, I can't see it in this picture. Am I am I not seeing stuff or? Okay, so that is it in the, for this chapter. Let's go to page 18. We see Marco the Phoenix. Yeah, he's with Shank, right? And then we see three brothers. And then page 20, support the official release. So obviously guys, I like I said, I mean, I didn't say anything yet. But I can't do the review today because of my timing schedule and stuff. So I will stop with the live reaction for this week. Next week I should back to normal. So let me know what you guys think about this chapter. A really interesting chapter. Overall, we they finally go to Big Mom. I mean, the pace is really crazy. So they are at Big Mom's house. And Jimbe actually said it. He just went and said, I'm leaving your group. And she's like... We should make a fair trade and she's ready to take off the head, arms or up, legs, whatever, you know. She's ready to kill this guy. And moving on from the what else? Well, that was the this movement with arms and there was like this thing going on with Brooke. I don't know if I'm the only one thinking of this, but Brooke knows some sh like serious shit. How how long she's been living, but he knows some really really important stuff, I believe, but we just not knowing. And Petro having a plan to steal this uh, pornoglyph. I don't know if Luffy actually gonna fight Big Mom, and I, I don't know how this gonna go go because if Big Mom touches you, I'm pretty sure there must be a limit. If she touches you, you freaking lose your life. She can eat you like take away the life in an instant. Uh, or she probably can give the life as well because if she can take away the lifespan, she probably can give. Uh, no, maybe not. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the next chapter, guys. Overall, a great chapter, but the pace is again crazy. We are already on a wool cake island. Compared to Dress Rosa, this is mind blowing. So, Ora is on, on fire. I don't know if you're trying to finish this before 1000. Hope not. Hopefully, 1500. But yeah, all great things must come to an end. Let me know what you guys think about this chapter. I'm gonna end my video here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I will end the video here. Have an awesome day, people, and see you guys with more videos.